Welcome back to Is It Playable? In this video, we'll be taking a look at whether Auto Model Lister is playable with Dolphin within RetroArch. I will admit, the only thing I don't like about GameCube games, or just Dolphin in general, is the load time. It's really slow. <laughs> to boot 600%, what the heck? I mean, I don't know, just compared to uh, PS2, it takes a whole lot longer. Love how they have to include that for like, literally every racing game. Warning, don't be a dick. Don't be a... Oh, Model Easter. I had a feeling that's what it was going to be called. Never mind. Single race. Whoa. <laughs> Secret. Eh, I'll just go with this. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Ooh! The Viper! Hell yeah! Aero parts, a muffler, and other parts performs better than normal cars. Can I change that? There we go. Oh, I can't go purple. Darn. We'll go with blue, though. Confirmed the settings. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, the uh, thing appears to be a bit busted. Like, the text display is a bit broken. It's not displaying correct oh, letters correctly. Instead of confirm, we had confirm. So, yeah. Three laps. But, with it being a racing game, you don't really need to worry about what certain things say. So, Z is how I look behind. Oh boy, it's so slidey. Ooh. Oh god, I have not played this in a while. Sheesh. It's making me want to play like Ridge Racer. Where you drift around every corner. But it's not the case with this. Oh god. Will admit, it's like all over the place. Oh no. Like, the get uh, not game. The car does not want to go in a straight line. It might just be me, actually, <laughs> trying to kind of, uh, sort it out. I can't remember if there is a boost. There's Y, which I think slows you uh, down. That may have been handbrake, <laughs> actually. Okay, B also breaks. I think Y is handbrake. Yeah, I think so. God, I just keeps spinning out. Shoot, I should not have chosen this. Yeah, I should have just chosen a raceway. You know, where you just go in circle repeatedly. I don't know what X does. Oh, X changes your view. Okay. You douche. Great, it completely screwed me over. I'm just not not used to cars being so slip and slidey in racing games. As I say, it reminds me, or makes me want to play like Ridge Racer, because in that game if you take a corner too tightly, then the car spins out. It doesn't spin out, but it starts to drift. But yeah, with this I'm just... Ah! ah I completely stopped you! <laughs> oh no! On the plus side, I've got a faster car. The downside is I can't... Oh dear. Oh, I could not move. Yeah, the downside is I can't play this to save my life. It's my own fault for choosing a car. Oh! LNR switches gears. I didn't realise you were able to do that. What with it being in manual? Yeah, 
It really likes to slip and slide. I should keep trying to like, not take any turn too tight. Because otherwise I've got to spin out again. It's like the road has been just greased up. So if you turn ever so slightly, it just kind of starts to spin out. Right, okay. We've got one guy right behind us. I didn't mean to do that. You know, by the end of this, I might be able to take corners correctly, but I wouldn't count on it. The worst part is, when I was a, a lot younger, I used to play every racing game. I was big, like, really big into him. As I've got older, I've just not really lost interest, but just lost the skill necessary, I guess. On the plus side, it's, you know, neck and neck with 7th, which isn't too terrible. Oh, uh, that's bad. Yep, I knew I was taking it too, too tightly, again. <laughs> God, I did it again. Jesus. If I can come 7th, I'm happy. <laughs> This has been perfect though. Full speed and no stutters whatsoever. I'm pretty sure this is a game you can actually upscale to without any issues. Again, I don't really touch it, so I wouldn't, oops, wouldn't be able to say for sure. There we go. That's what I meant to do. 360 spin. No, I braked but then didn't turn. Whoops. Boo -doo 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 -doo. You just constantly got to make like minute adjustments to the the stick with this. That's definitely one thing I'm not used to. It's like you're constantly moving the stick to kind of adjust. Not all the time, but a lot of the time. That's not what I wanted. We're fine. <laughs> Could have been worse. Yeah, I'd rather do that than completely spin out, so that's preferable. I will get too cocky, because I will probably spin out again. Okay. Okay. I'm in fifth. Could I make it to fourth? Probably not. Though we are on a straight line, so... Maybe. Nah, I'm pretty sure they've just passed it. Oh, we're not done. Wait, what? Wait, what? I've just done lap three, haven't I? Is it actually four laps or something? I'm confused. Oh, this is the end. Oh. Maybe. Oh, that was literally... Oh, okay, never mind. No, that must have been a point where you got a checkpoint. And I assumed it was the finish line for some reason. Oops. You know, my best rest. <laughs> I don't care. I don't do this to show off how good I am. But yeah, it's been so long since I've played this, I could not remember. You can tell. Look, just constantly slipping and sliding. That has been pretty perfect, though.
Absolutely. Full speed all the way, and not a single stutter in sight. It's been pretty nice. With that, I'd have to say that Auto Modelista is playable. So that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, leave suggestions for games you want to see, and until next time, take care.